Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in. We're going to create together. We're going to laugh together. We're going to lose some stuff together. It's all good. We're going to make a fun card tonight. I'm super excited. It's got a little pocket inside for a gift card holder. So I don't know for sure what it's going to look like yet. I'm hoping you'll help me design it. So looking forward to creating with you all. So good to see you here. And today was Crafternoon, so I'm back. If you were with me earlier today, uh, we learned a fun new fold card called the Majestic Fun Fold Card. And if you weren't able to join us, uh, no worries, because I've got, uh, I can give you a quick rundown on, on uh, at least I'll show you the cards and you can check that video out. In the video, I showed the basic folds um, for the card. The tutorial is coming. It is not ready yet, so uh, please be a little patient with me. I'm hoping to get that up within the next day or so. So uh, that will go on my blog. So let's talk about that. So the tutorial for Crafternoon, those are always purchasable tutorials, paid tutorials. I also do free tutorials. So if you go to my, oh, whoopsie. <laughs> at the wrong button. So sorry. If you go to my blog, suestanfield.com, click on subscribe, you can choose uh, to get my free project sheet emails, or you can choose to uh, subscribe to my blog post. When the crafting and tutorial is available, I have a blog post up with pretty pictures of all the fun alternates that you can check out. So you can subscribe right there. Let's go back here. So good to see you all. We got Florida tuning in and let's see where else i think i saw north carolina yuma melbourne we've got some friends from australia joining us michigan fantastic thanks for being here with me tonight some of you are watching on youtube some of you are over on facebook hey facebook friends my wonderful moderator jennifer walsh is hanging out with us here on youtube um, she's in the comments on youtube so if you have a question go ahead and drop it in the comments and she'll try to <laughs> flag me down i get all into crafting and i forget to read the comments so i'll see it eventually though let's go ahead and dive right in i'm gonna switch to the whoops i hit the right button susan come on let's do this thing all right there we go yay we have a desk excellent let's do a quick recap of our cool uh, majestic fun fold card so this one, this is my monthly Crafternoon class. Customers that placed a qualifying order of $50 in January got a packet in the mail to make this card with me along on the video. And um, I do it a public video so everybody can watch it. And then they'll get the tutorial for free after the fact. My wonderful Stamp Field Stars team members got to see this on Thursday on a regular team video. They also got um, all of the dimensions, a picture of what was in the packet so that they could cut their own packet. Let's see how this uh, majestic card opens. It opens like that. We've got a focal point here that pops out. Um, if you look at it from above, M, do you see the M? M is for majestic. So that's where the name stems from. This might be triggering some memories for you to our uh, cards that we did back in uh, December with the Marvelous Fun Fold. So the Marvelous Fun Fold was the landscape version of this card. This one is the portrait version. And I had some team members going, oh my gosh, I was hoping that you would do a portrait version. So they were super happy. Uh, that that got done. Hang on, I'm digging. Oh, <laughs> here's another one from the December Marvelous Fun Fold um, tutorial. So you can check that one out. That one is on my blog. But let's go back and look at these cards. So if you place a $50 order in uh, with in my online store in um, or with me in February, what month are we? <laughs> You'll qualify for the Crafternoon next month in March, and we'll be doing another fun fold then. This one is with the Excellent Eggs bundle. I'm loving this bundle so much. And the Lighter Than Air Designer Series paper. And I'm giving one last, one last hurrah to this wonderful embossing uh, folder. This right now is a celebration exclusive. It comes with a, it's bundled with a stamp set called Softly Sophisticated. We might have to use this one tonight, you guys. I'm super sad this one's leaving. I absolutely love it. It's just a nice basic texture, you know, uh, really nice background. Um, and then on the back of this card, now this particular fold, you, you put your information on the back. That's where you sign it and you can put a little greeting in there and so forth. So um, the other three versions were all sneak peeks of the upcoming online exclusives. Now these online exclusive actually um, 
are available right now if you're a demonstrator or if you purchase the starter kit. There's a great deal going on right now on the starter kit. So if you want to just try out being a demonstrator and see what you think, you can purchase $125 in product and only pay $99. Shipping is free. And you can put some of these brand new products that I'm about to show you right in your kit and get them now. And then you also, because it's celebration, can choose either the Glass Mat Studio, which is a $60 value for free, or you can choose $30 in product for free. So this one is with the uh, Latte Love. I'm gonna look at my cheat sheet on the back. The designer paper is called a Little Latte, and that's what these cups are cut out of. And the stamp uh, greeting is from uh, Latte Love. And so again, this card stands for display. And this is a sneak peek of a new embossing folder. They're called Fun Patterns Embossing Folders. They're the narrow folders and there's two of them in the pack. So uh, they're super, super cool. And hey, guess what? They're fun. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise, right? And then, oh my gosh, this one is so gorgeous, you guys. This is the Magnolia Mood, also coming out on March 4th to customers, or you can get it now in the starter kit. Um, absolutely gorgeous. There's some beautiful dyes that make um, these super detailed magnolias as well. Just super gorgeous. It, it happens to go beautifully with the layered um, florals embossing folder. In fact, it went so great that I did the whole card. <laughs> There's no designer paper on this one. I could have used the, the uh, Forever Love one, but um, I just, this folder is so perfect. So we got a little, little monochromatic, very easy card actually, but just super elegant. And then a little bit on the back, a um, little stamp up from that Magnolia Mood stamp set. So that's that one. And then the last alternate is with the Zinnias. This is another sneak peek coming out March 4th or available in the starter kit. Right now, with the exception of the stamp set, the stamp set is temporarily out of stock. It is being made and will be, be back very soon. You can see I stamp the leaves and die cut them out. But this one has the beautiful uh, Flowering Zinnias Designer Series paper. If you have a friend that is just a happy, bright, cheerful person and loves bright, happy colors, this is the perfect card for them. Or a, a devote gardener would also love this card. Or really anyone that loves flowers. And then again, you can sign on the back. So that is a quick little rundown on our majestic fun fold cards, which are the February Crafternoon uh, Special Fold. So let's dive into tonight's card. We are actually going to play with this set tonight. Um, and that is the Latte Love <laughs> stamp set. It's got some, oh gosh, I'm not able to find it. It's got some really pretty ribbon that is somewhere in this disaster that I call a stamp room. Mm, don't know where. Don't even going to try to find it because we're not going to use it. All right. <laughs> Clearly we're not going to use it because I don't know where it is. Um, and then we've got some dies here. And this is so cool. My friend Linda Dalkey was just showing me a card she made with this French press. Like, so cool. Um, you can check out her channel, Linda Dalkey in Australia. And I think that's for her big class coming up later this week. So check her out there. Um, anyway, we're going to use uh, one of these dies from the Latte Love. And we're also going to use the pretty designer paper. Now, what I love about this stamp set... I. Honestly, I don't drink coffee, but I love chai tea lattes. Any other chai tea lattes? Um, why does the card have such wide fold gussets? Do you mean these little pieces right here? Is that what you mean, Kenzie? Um, she's asking, I think, why it has these little extra folds in there. Um, I got the idea when I got the Marvelous Fold, I found a card on Pinterest um, that was from somebody in Ireland, maybe, I think, um, that they had done. And I just worked out worked it out for myself on how it was made. There weren't any instructions. Um, and I really liked those flat panels. They add a lot of stability to the card and they give you decorating um, opportunities. I love being able to add that little strip down the front. So good question. Um, it is just a nature of the card. What color cardstock is the dark blue one? Can't tell on my screen. Oh, Jennifer, do you mean the Magnolia one, this one? This is Pretty Peacock. Please show how it fits in the envelope, you bet. I've got one in the envelope right here. <laughs> so when it's closed, it is the standard four and a quarter by five and a half inch size. So 
that is the size of it. Good questions, you guys. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start creating. One of the things I really like about the stamp set are the greetings in there. I do love the hello, let's catch up. I also love this one's on me. We're doing a, um, as I mentioned, we're doing a gift card holder. Um, I also love this, this oops <laughs> stamp of the splattered um, coffee bits there. So um, anyway, all right, let's go ahead and dive in. We're actually going to start by cutting out our coffee cups. So let me just, pardon me while I tidy. <laughs> my craft like oh my gosh is your craft room like this I get so messy when I'm creating and I'm always creating and I don't like cleaning up so there you go there you have it friends that's it in a nutshell so I'm going to bring in this designer paper now this paper has some really fun patterns oh gosh come on come on Sue get with the program here <laughs> we've got this pretty uh, lost lagoon stripe and oh look at this messy splatter this one reminds me of fudge like it's making me hungry just even looking at it right <laughs> you've never had a chai tea latte oh gretchen it's so yummy it's like it's like cocoa but not <laughs> that's the nearest thing i can describe it to um these are like the little fancy swirls that you have on your your fancy coffees coffees and here's one with some um like cream swirled so fun all right, so we're going to cut out, um, we're just gonna rough cut one of these out because there is a die that matches this and it's this die right here from our Latte Love set. And we can just die cut out a cup of our choice. They've got Calypso Coral, they've got Lemon Lolly, and they've got Lost Lagoon. We're gonna use Lost Lagoon tonight on this Majestic Fold. I, you can see I used a Lemon Lolly and a, um, calypso coral cup all right so this would require scissors up oh, found them take a sip everyone i am a messy crafter so we play a little game here on my channel when i lose something and find it again we all take a sip of our beverage so let me know what is in your cup tonight i have my favorite which is ice water i'm going to cut out this little cup right here this one has almost like a it's almost like a snowflake pattern on it um, this one is nice too with the heart, but this one looks more like a chai tea latte to me. So I'm going to go with that one and um, let me know. Uh, Lost Lagoon is one of your favorite colors. Oh, I know it's so pretty, right? It's just such a peaceful and calm color. I love it. We're drinking pop, cherry Pepsi. Let's see. Boring ice water. Yay for boring ice water. Hot tea tonight. You got a storm brewing, huh? All right brewing i get it oh is that a play on words because we're using this tonight <laughs> all right let's go ahead and i uh, cut this out let me bring in i got adhesive on here this afternoon and i thought i cleaned it off and guess what i didn't all right let's bring in trying to avoid bumping the camera more than i absolutely have to all right i had a um, a lady that works at my husband's pharmacy over this weekend, she had never die cut before. And so we were going through the basics of die cutting, which was kind of fun. So this is the stamp and cut emboss machine. This is platform number one. This is um, the uh, thin die adapter number two. We were doing some die cutting. So I'm just following along the little, the little recipe right on the, the piece there. So um, you were going to, you were forced to clean and organize your craft room. <laughs> um all right so oh that's that's you know what that's maybe that's what i need maybe i need to be forced to clean it because i honestly would like to redo the whole thing and get rid of a bunch of the stuff that's in here that i don't even use all right but you know what that takes too much time <laughs> chai and madeline cakes oh jamie how perfect i don't know what a madeline cake is but it sounds amazing so i've got my dye here from latte love and i um lining it up with the um the a little latte designer series paper cup here so this is kind of a bird's eye view of a cup looking down on a cup full of yummy stuff and i'm just lining up the edges and i'm going to hold it in place with a post-it note there we go hi annie and we're going to go ahead and put this on here sorry i keep i have cords everywhere you guys i'm trying a new setup where i'm using a 
ethernet cord to see if it gives us better. Oh, hang on. I'm going to wait with you for a minute. I got to get these cords out of my way. They're driving me crazy. I'm trying to get a better, clearer picture for you all. Um, so I apologize for the experimentation that's going on tonight. <laughs> ah, technology. Okay. There we go. So let's take a look at our cup. I'm going to put this uh, machine away for now. We're going to use it a little bit later, but this is going to help us decide what color we want to do our project in tonight. Oh my gosh, there's this adorable little spoon here too. Look at that. That is, oh, we might have to use that too. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Okay. I, I, I don't know why I love spoons and spoon dies, but I do. <laughs> They're just so cute. Okay, so we've got our little cup here. And we're going to make a, um, it's a card that is a gift card, gift card pocket. So we've got some choices here. Um, we've got some designer paper. I'm just going to kind of pull this in while we kind of design our card. We could go with this fudge. Oh man, that makes me hungry. Um, we could go with this pretty, oh, I like that. I like that Lost Lagoon. Well, maybe we should go with a whole Lost Lagoon theme. Let's let's pull out some paper and see what we think. Uh, da, da, da. Here we go. Oh man, I'm just noticing that my paper trimmers are buried in <laughs> designer paper. What a surprise. All right, so there's Lost Lagoon. Or we could go a different direction and we could go with... Um, what color? Is that really expressive? No, wait, is that? No, I got grabbed the wrong one. We could go early espresso, which kind of goes more with this. We've got pecan pie. There's a little early espresso right here. We also could go with crumb cake. I'm just playing around here. All right. We're going to start with a card base. So let me know in the comments which card base you think we should do. Can you show us what comes with a cut, emboss and cut machine? I can. I'm going to have you vote while I am showing you that. So Lost Lagoon, Early Espresso, or Crumb Cake? Let me know in the comments. I see one vote already for Lost Lagoon. So, and I just had a customer that ordered the Stamp Cut Emboss machine today. So it comes with the machine, obviously. Hang on. Here's the machine. It folds up like a little suitcase. So it's easy to store, easy to carry around. It's not terribly heavy. Um, I don't know what the weight is on it, but so you get the machine and then you get everything you need to um, die cut, emboss, all the things and 3D emboss. So it comes with a platform, comes with a thin die adapter, comes with two plates, doesn't come with a post-it note, but you've got that. <laughs> And your plate won't be all squared up like this one. And then it also comes with a specialty plate, which is what you need for 3D embossing. All right, let's look and see what our winner is. Looks like Lost Lagoon is in the lead here. I do see some votes for Early Espresso. We might use that for a layer. That certainly could still be a player. Yep, Lost Lagoon is a big hit here. All right, so you guys have been voted off the island. Go sit over there and behave. Don't get lost. Okay, so, aha, I have unburied a paper trimmer. Success! There's a huge stack. Wait, well, you don't need, you, you know, you know the thing. It's got paper, designer paper, card stock on it, all the things. So our card base for this card is four and a quarter by five and a half. All right. And we might need some more at Boss Lagoon. I'm just going to have it hang out right over here. And then we're going to do an accordion folded piece on there. And we're going to do that out of basic white because we went with the Lost Lagoon. So I am leaning towards using this pattern of paper. So we're going to cut it from this piece. Let me grab my sheet sheet here. Hang on. Oh, good heavens. Everything is falling apart. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> big sigh, big deep breath. All right, so we have our card base that was five and a half by four and a quarter. And now we're going to do this accordion piece that's four and a half by nine and three quarters. So let's grab a piece of basic white and we're going to cut this at four and a half inches. A little bit different than usual. 
by nine and three quarters. So I'm gonna take my paper trimmer here and pull out this side piece. All right, and we're gonna cut this at nine and three quarters. Oh, I missed what Madeline cakes were, darn. I gotta go back. I got see. I got all involved in the card. And hang on a second here. All right. Um, okay. Uh, sorry, I got lost. What was I doing? Nine and three quarters. <laughs> Distract squirrel. I'm distracting myself here a little bit. Sorry about that. All right. Nine and three quarters. And then we're going to score it. Bring in our cheat sheet again here. We're gonna score it at three and a quarter and six and a half. I got this idea from my friend Heidi Collins. Um, her blog address, oh gosh, it's on why go. I don't know how you say that, but on why go. Anyway, Heidi Collins, and she did some Christmas ones. I don't know, it was quite a while ago, it might've been a year ago. Three and a quarter inches. I'm scoring this, not cutting. I have to remind myself that. Three and a quarter, and then score it again at six and a half. All right. Okay, I'm gonna pop the trimmer out of the way for the moment, but don't run away, trimmer. I might need you. And then we're gonna accordion fold this piece. Okay. Let's find the bone folder. Where did it go? Okay, so our, this is how the card's gonna work. It's gonna adhere on our card base, and this is gonna have a pocket inside that will have our gift card in it, okay? So thank you, Jennifer, for putting Heidi's um, blog in there. I will put, um, I'll put in a link to the, uh, in the, in the, blah, blah, blah. in the YouTube description, I'll put in a direct link to her version, um, her Christmas card ones that she did, or uh, I think she did a Christmas version and a spring version, maybe. So we've got this accordion folded. We're just going to take our bone folder and we're going to just crease it. Sure we are, Sue. Okay, there we go. <laughs> crease it down and crease on the other fold here. All right. All right. So now we have this piece that's like an accordion, right? Okay. Um, I have a question for you guys. So we're gonna so we're gonna put this accordion piece on here. It's gonna open up like this. Do we want an embossed layer behind, or do we want to just stick it on? So say yes or no. Yes for embossing or no for embossing. Okay. Yeah, early espresso would be a good color for clothing, Janine. I agree with you. So let me know yes or no if we want to do an embossed background. And while you're voting on that, I'm going to cut our designer series paper to put on top of that. So let's bring in that paper trimmer. Oh, I don't want to lose my cup. <laughs> right there. All right, so we're going to take this and we're going to cut this at... Oh, what direction do I want the stripes? Do I need to think about that? I think probably that direction. I don't know. Doesn't matter, right? I'm overthinking. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to go that direction. All right, so this piece is going to be, let me look at my cheat sheet again. Um, DSP on the front is going to be three by four and a quarter. All right, so three inches. I am seeing uh, most people say yes for embossing. I've got a few no's. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this at three inches. I always look at the measurements again before. <laughs> it's just a good idea sometimes, right? Like, what was it again? By four inches. All right, so we've got that. And that's going to go right here. Uh-oh. Did I cut it wrong? Oh, Susan, I cut it wrong, you guys. I cut it three by four after telling myself it was three by four and a quarter. <gasps> That's okay. We have more paper. It's good. I'm a demonstrator. I get a discount on everything I purchase, so it's okay if I mess up. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we've got our designer paper reconfigured so that it perfectly fits on here. So again, <clears throat> since I messed it up, this is right, three by four and a quarter. 
what I said was not right. All right, so I can see our cute little thing coming together here. We've got room for our sentiment. All right, so, you know, we might need two. We might need two cups. All right, we'll think about that. Um, in the meantime, uh, we did get a vote for uh, the majority of you who said yes on the embossing. So Jennifer, I'm going off script here and I'm gonna add in an embossed layer. Mm -hmm. Where is a pen? Let's just write this down so that we're all on the same page. We're gonna go with, and at the end of the video, I will put these dimensions up with uh, the card so you can take a screenshot. Embossed, I, I have terrible handwriting, you guys. Did you know that about me? My cards are pretty, my handwriting is not. <laughs> Embossed layer is four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, there we go. That's really messy, Susan. Oh my goodness. All right, so four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna do more Lost Lagoon. Okay, by five and a quarter. Now, not a lot of this is gonna show, but a little bit of it is. All right, there we go. And you guys are saying, yes, we need another cup. Oh, definitely. All right, let's bring our die cutting machine back in here because we need to do our embossing. And let's open that up. All right, let's grab this. This time we're gonna do embossing and we're gonna do a 3D embossing folder. You guys, I told you I was sad about this one leaving. So we're gonna use it. Maybe the little last time. Oh, I hope you've added it to your collection. It's a 3D embossing folder. It's free during celebration right now. It comes with a gorgeous stamp set. It is called Softly Sophisticated. So if you place a $100 order, you can uh, put that in your basket uh, for your free celebration choice with your order. It's got some very nice greetings on here as well. You know what? Your and my thoughts would actually be nice on this, uh, this little card we're making too. All right, um, let's grab this. And so for 3D embossing, we put our cardstock in our folder and we follow along here. It says for 3D embossing, you need platform number one, that's right here, and specialty plate number four. And you just sandwich your uh, embossing folder right in there and put this on and send this through. You don't think my handwriting is awful? Oh, bless you, Arlene, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's not, yeah. I'm always in too big of a rush, I think, so. All right, some people have beautiful handwriting. All right, and I'm not one of them. All right, <laughs> we know our strengths, right? So this Lost Lagoon is a beautiful color. It, it, it's one of those colors that doesn't, um, always, it depends on the, your screen and what it looks like. In in person, it is a very soft uh, green blue color, blue green, I would say. It's a little more towards the blue than the green. Um, and it's a lightened up version of Pool Party, actually. They, they look very nice together. So if you didn't want to do the tone on tone effect that we're doing for this card, you actually could do a um, a, a, a pool party layer in here. So we're just gonna pop that on. It's just gonna give a little extra texture to our, our card. It is a really great folder because it's not a specific image, which means it goes with anything, right? All right, we need another cup of, uh, cup of Joe, cup of something here. So let's grab this. I'm gonna grab that paper back. Why don't we get that other Lost Lagoon here? And because our one little coffee cup looked kind of lonely, right? So we'll cut this one out with the little heart on it and we'll have one of each. All right, let's see if Susan has lost. <clears throat> uh, no, I haven't lost the die, hurrah! I haven't even got these on the magnetic sheet yet. Like I said, they're brand new. Demonstrators can order them right now or you can get them in the starter kit or customers can purchase them in March. Let's grab our post-it note. We're gonna reuse this one that we used before. And I'm just lining everything up, popping that on. You can see I switched the sandwich out from embossing. I added in um, the thin die adapter number two, the number three cutting plate. I don't want this one that's too thick. I need a number, another number three. I do love that the die cutting machine has all of the sandwiches printed right on the platform. So 
it's always with your machine. You don't have to pull out an instruction form or anything like that. It's just right there. All right, got that sent through. Um, do I need it for I don't know. I can't decide. I'll set it down for now. Okay, let's peel, pull this off and let's see how our card is going together. Let me put that back on the piece so they don't lose it. All right. I don't know why, but I love it when a die matches a designer paper. It makes me really happy. <laughs> Maybe because I'm a little bit of a lazy stamper. Oops, that's the wrong one. Um, and I love that I it, it speeds up the process to have it already colored, beautifully colored and ready. I don't have to hand color it or whatever. Oh, this is the one that ran out during Crafternoon, and I have not reloaded it yet. Let's get the one that does work. All right, found it. Take a sip, everyone. <laughs> We haven't majorly lost anything tonight, but I appreciate you all and your patience and your willingness to play along with our little found it game here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and adhere this right on here. Hi, Fran. All right, so this is our card base. This is our pretty embossed layer. Again, just very subtle background here. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and stick this on. And then we're gonna cut our pocket, our uh, little, make our little pocket adhesive. That's what I was looking for. Did you guys know what I was looking for? Oh, this, this side is super cute too with the splatters of coffee. My husband loves coffee and every morning that counter is like a disaster. I'm like, how do you make such a mess? <laughs> oh, making coffee and getting coffee rings everywhere. It's, it's, it, yeah, fortunately they wash right off. Okay, all right, so we've got that on there and then the pocket part is gonna go right here and here we can stamp a sentiment. So our pocket, here's my question for you. Do we want to use the same designer paper? Hey, you know what, we maybe, maybe we, no, it's still not long enough. I thought maybe we could use the one I messed up. Um, do we wanna use the same as on the front? Our pocket's gonna be shorter or do we want to use something else? like this swirly pattern here or this one with the little um, the little latte hearts on it or the back side with the splatters. So I'm giving you a lot of choices here. Let's let's uh, break it down. One, two, three, or four. Let me know in the comments which direction want to go. One, two, three, or four. All right. Yeah, the corner counter around the coffee machine is always just a disaster. Why is that? And while you guys are voting on one, two, three, four, and I have to keep them in the Jennifer, can you remember <laughs> what order that was? Because I might forget. Um, I'm gonna get out the stamp here. It's a couple stamps I want to use today. I want to use this little one that says this one's on me because it's uh we're doing a gift card holder and this is perfect for a gift card holder. It's so tiny. Oh my gosh, look, I can use the smallest little block. This is block A. <laughs> and this little tiny one. Okay, so cute. So this one's on me. It can go right there. And let's see, what do we got? What are we going with here, friends? Uh, I have to remember, I'm seeing a lot of votes for Number four, a few votes for number one, a few for two, but looks like number four is the winner here. So awesome. Let's go ahead and grab this. Okay, let's get it. That's really cute, right? That's really cute with the hearts. So let's see. Ah, paper trimmer. <laughs> Let's cut this. This is going to be two inches by four and a quarter. Double check right here. This will be the pocket. The designer paper. DSP stands for designer series paper, by the way. Designer paper for the pocket, four and a quarter by two. This paper is directional because I want those little hearts to be upright. So I'm going to cut the width first, two inches. Let's see if I can cut it the right size this time. <laughs> 
two inches by four and a quarter. There. Hurrah. All right. So we've got our little pocket right here that our gift card is going to go into. And I do have a gift card here. So in Minnesota, we have Caribou Coffee. Um, I, I think it is in other places in the country as well. And that's going to go right in our pocket. And look at this. This is their Mare logo. And it's Lost Lagoon is their color. So I think one of my um, Sunday school students gave me this, um, this card. I, you know, this is cute, but it doesn't match our gift card, does it, you guys? Oh, my goodness. I am so bad about that. I go to, um, I will go to the coffee shop with my, <laughs> with my project and like ask them to match my project. Does that one look any better? I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm wondering if maybe we could do something where we do this with like a strip across me. I don't know. Am I overthinking it? All right. Well, well let's just go with this, Susan. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. It does match our colors, doesn't it? Yes, it's fine. Okay. It's totally fine, Susan. Just, just stop overthinking. All right. So we're going to actually um, punch a little, a little divot here so that it's easier for them to pull out this gift card. And you can see it, it's, it kind of just barely fits. So um, before I stick it on, I do want to punch a little finger grab. Um, I'm just going to grab, you know, it can be any oval punch, any circle punch, anything like that. I'm stalling. Okay, found one. <laughs> Take a sip, everyone. We're going to use the one and three quarter inch circle punch. And we're just going to go a little doodah right here. Just, just a bit, just a little chunk, just a little finger grab there. And then we're going to stick this on with a strong adhesive. Let me just move 600 things to get to my adhesive drawer. Oh my gosh, seriously. This one I don't keep out right on my desk. This is tear and tape. It's very strong, powerful tape. And I'm just going to put a little piece way close to the edge, like I'm almost right on the edge there, because I want to make sure that my gift card is going to fit. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, and then way to this edge. Use early espresso on one of the cups that you die cut. Oh. Let's see, there we go. Got our tear and tape on there. Let's get our take your pick tool. It's going to give it a rub so that'll be easier to get the backing off. And you can also rub it with your bone folder just to kind of activate that um, backing and loosen it up a little bit. Or you can use your nails. That's what they're for, right? <laughs> All right, my sticky pocket here is going to go right inside. Right here. Okay, and then we're going to put our little gift card right in there. How cute is that? All right, so we're got a sentiment. I was supposed to be getting this ready. I got totally distracted with all the fun things. Um, ooh. Let's type, let's stamp the, type it. No, we're not typing it, Susan. We're stamping it. Um, we could stamp it in pecan pie, which is what this color is, but I think I'm just going to use early espresso because it's going to show up a little bit better. Oh, should we add a spoon? We could add a little spoon. The spoon is so cute. All right, let's stamp this. This one's on me right here. Just teeny tiny. And if we wanted to, look how cute the spoon is. There's a die that matches the spoon, but you don't have to have it. It's also the, like some little coffee swirls. You can make your own color of cup if you don't like the ones in the designer paper. Um, let's, let's, let's add a spoon. It's just too cute. And then the dies, you can build a whole coffee French press thing. All right, got my spoon. I think we'll do the spoon in Lost Lagoon, though. What do you guys think? Where's my Lost Lagoon? Here it is. All right, let's just pop that open. There we go. Move this. Is tear and tape stronger than stamp and seal plus? Um, yeah, it is. 
It's really good for boxes and things. All right, I got my little spoon in there just for fun. All right, so let's go back to the front and we're gonna stamp another greeting. I love this greeting right here. Hello, let's catch up. So I'm gonna stamp that in early espresso. It's the same one that I did on this particular uh, project right here. Oh, I need a block, that one's not big enough. Oh goody, I got a block, yay. Block D to the, for the win. Um, I'm just gonna grab a scrap <laughs> off my desk. I don't even know what size this is. Mm. Let's, let's find out. This is one inch. And we'll be cutting it down because we don't need it as long as it is. But you could also, you know, die cut a, a label. Totally could do that. Hello there. Let's catch up. Could even stamp the little coffee beans inside or the little splatter. Oh, the little splatter would be super cute inside, wouldn't it? All right, so we've got our hello, let's catch up. I will tell you what size this is as soon as we figure out what size it is. Let's bring in our paper trimmer. It was one inch by, that looks about right, doesn't it? Uh, one inch by two and a quarter. All right. And let's go ahead and stick this on. Where's my adhesive? Does anyone see? <laughs> oh, I put it away, Susan. What were you thinking? All right, so we're going to stick this on. Gosh, I hope I did it right side up. All right, so yep, just like it's supposed to be here. So we're going to just center this on the card right here. Opens up like that. Super cute. We've got our little cups and our greeting right here. So we're just going to stick these on with dimensionals. And let's see. <laughs> your wonder was your husband was wondering if this was a set with ketchup. <laughs> Not that kind of catching up. Oh, funny. All right. Oops. Not the kind with mustard and ketchup and hot dogs and all the things. All right. Let's put some dimensionals on here and get our cups on. Now, when I did this card here, I used the scallop contour dies, which we've actually had for a long time. They look like a doily or something, right? Like they make you think of a kitchen and warm and hanging out with a friend and catching up and gossiping and all those fun things, right? This one is going to be more of a coffee shop feel, right? Okay, so we're going to go a little easier on this. Oh my gosh, it's 8.15. We are going out to dinner tonight <laughs> and I need to uh, hurry up. I am going to be in the doghouse here. So our reservations are for 8.30 and it's 8.15. So we're going to wrap it up, friends. So cute. Fortunately, we are almost there. All right. Pop this on right here and here. And I might, after the fact, after dinner, <laughs> I might go in and add um, a strip of uh, the darker designer paper here. I might make it too busy. I don't know. I'll play with that. We'll see. But there is our fun little project here. So it opens up like that. We've got our cute little gift card inside. This one's on me. And there is our, you went out to eat between the videos today. <laughs> and there you go. There, I know it takes longer to create than you'd think, you know, so there we go. There is, if you want to take a screenshot of that, and if you wanted to, you could even add some of these fun little swirls to the, the coffee inside like I did on this one, but super fun. All right. Thank you guys. You did good. Good designing. All right. I'm going to pop over here so that I can say goodbye. Quick reminder that the Majestic Fun Fold will be showing up on my blog within the next day or so. You can go to SueStampfield.com to subscribe to that and um, make sure to get your order in if you want to take part in the March Crafter Noon. Or if you want some of these fun products, you can get in on that celebration special for the starter kit. 
Take care, everyone. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and thanks for helping me design this project. I love it. I'll put pictures of it on my Sue Stanfield Facebook group tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.